How to get started with Huntington Bank online banking account. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll guide you on how you can use the online banking for Huntington Bank. So make sure to watch the video till the end. First step is to open up your browser. Go to Huntington.com. I will also make sure to drop a link below. Once you're on the website, the very first crucial thing you have to understand to get started with online banking, you need to have an existing normal bank account on Huntington Bank. To do this, you can click the create an account option from the top right hand side of the screen or you can simply choose to visit your nearest branch and then actually create your bank account in that way. Once you've created a bank account, you have to apply for online banking. If you look on the right hand side, here you have a login page. But before that, look for the bottom option and here you'll find enroll now option. You want to make sure to just click this option here. Once you click the enroll now button, you will be taken to the next page where you will be able to enter all of your details. Now you can see what kind of information you'd like to use such as your account number or maybe your debit card number depending upon what you want. Just make sure to enter your debit card as well as the PIN or your social security number. Click the continue option. The next step will require you to verify your identity, create a username and a password and also use your phone number or email address in order to successfully sign up for online banking. Now once you've done so, you can come back to the page and you can log into your online banking account. Now the rest of the questions are what do you do after you log into online banking? Well, there are many things you can do. You can make a check deposit. You can also make a wire transfer without having to go to the bank. You can apply for online services. You can apply for insurance, investments, borrowing, banking and many of the other things. To get started and explore all the features, you can just scroll down. You can select a checkings account, you can explore your savings account, you can also find out the certificates of deposits and you can also get a mortgage pre-approval if you'd like. If you scroll down over here, you also have some of the other features that you can actually have the questions of. Now just in case you're wondering if the online banking is not so convenient for you, you can always choose to use your mobile banking application that is available on both the iOS and the Android app store. And then once you've done that, what you can do is you can simply Go ahead and then actually use many of the features from the mobile bank itself as well. Now, in case you have any sort of issues with this, you can always choose to contact the customer care by clicking the customer service option from the top right hand side as you can see here. You'll be able to contact a live agent, get in touch with them, you can either call them or you can just chat with them right over here. So hopefully this video helped you solve your problem. If it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have got any more questions, then feel free to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video.